Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a neonate who was transferred from outside institution with concern for sepsis and seizure. Patient's blood glucose was profoundly low and was unmeasurable. Patient initially underwent ultrasound head examination, which was unremarkable. As part of workup, patient underwent MRI brain examination. I'm going to scroll through the DWI and ADC images. As you can see, patient has restricted diffusion involving the bilateral parieto-occipital regions, cortex and subcortical regions. You can also see restricted diffusion involving the spleneum of the corpus callosum, almost having a configuration of the boomerang, known as the boomerang sign. Imaging appearances are consistent with neonatal hypoglycemia. In terms of imaging features of hypoglycemia, Classically, the imaging features will be bilateral. Commonly, there will be involvement of the cerebral cortex in the parieto-occipital regions as we saw in our patient. There can also be involvement of posterior limb of internal capsule. Although this feature was not identified in our patient, there can also be involvement of the hippocampus, insula and basal ganglia. There can also be involvement of cerebellum, brainstem and thalami in neonates, whereas this is classically SPAD in the adults. And as we saw in our patient, there can be involvement of the splenium of corpus callosum giving the classic boomerang sign. In terms of differential diagnosis, which can overlap with hypoglycemia on imaging, we need to consider CJD, but this would be unusual in neonates. And also important to consider ischemic infarction. Usually it's focal and unilateral. Seizure related changes can give similar imaging appearances. And the most important differential diagnosis to consider would be hypoxic ischemic injury. This is rather important since neonatal encephalopathy has wide differential diagnosis. And the two important diagnoses to consider would be hypoxic ischemic injury and neonatal hypoglycemia. It is important to remember that both conditions can coexist. In fact, presence of neonatal hypoglycemia can worsen the clinical outcome of hypoxic ischemic injury. So it is important to identify imaging features of both. Indeed, in this research article, they tried to see if features of both hypoxic ischemic injury and neonatal hypoglycemia can be identified. And they found that specific imaging features of both hypoglycemia and HIE can be identified on MRI brain imaging. I hope you found this video to be informative. Thanks for your attention.